Hi everyone, and welcome to today's episode focused on Veeam Data Cloud for Microsoft 365. We're going to take a look at the three flavors available, the first of which is Flex. Now Flex is our traditional sec secure second copy granular restore and retention capabilities. Second up, we have Express, which is based on Microsoft backup storage, a bit like primary storage snapshots. It gives you lightning fast backup and restore and fast, easy bulk restore capabilities in the event of a disaster or cyber incident. Finally, we'll take a look at Premium, which is the best of both worlds, the granular restore and retention capabilities of Flex, coupled with the performance and bulk restore speed of Express. Now, this best of both worlds, customers tend to be looking at it for 10 to 20% of their workloads for their critical SharePoint or user data to be able to restore and get the business running as fast as possible in the event of a disaster. Talking about getting running as fast as possible, we can get this set up for you as a proof of concept, as simple as connecting your tenancy and backing up and protecting a small subset of your users. Alternatively, if you'd like to run through the demo that I'm about to go through, we have a complete walkthrough guide available on our on-demand lab platform. Now I'll go into the demo and we'll take a look at these features in action. So into the demo now, and we start with the Veeam Data Cloud from Microsoft 365. The first thing we're greeted with is this dashboard. So we can see our backup status. And for the last five to, to six days, we can see the storage consumption and the trends. Now I've added some, some more data in my test tenancy into OneDrive, so that's expected. I'm seeing the, the growth. Uh, then we've got our backup users. We've got the total amount of users in the tenancy and accounts. And I'll show you uh, in a little while how we, we monitor active licensed users. We've got our backup retention. So I've got a target retention of one year. Uh, this lab, this setup is only been running for sort of five months, so I'm not, I'm only at 45%. I'm not quite there yet on the target, but that makes sense from the setup time. Uh, M365 license activity, we can see there are two active users, and we can see the, the VDC licenses, the actual consumption of users that are being protected with Veeam Data Cloud. And then finally, M365 storage use. And we can see that um, myself on the tenants there, James at MBSIT, uh, is, is using the most of that storage. Down below are shortcuts to direct restores, Outlook, OneDrive, SharePoint, Teams. The first thing, once we've connected our tenancy, our, our M365 tenancy to Veeam Data Cloud for 365, we want to set up our protection. That's in the form of our backup policies. So I'll click on that now. And if you um, remember just uh, a minute or so ago, I said about the different options. Now I'm, for my lab, I have the, the sort of best of both worlds premium. And I've within that, I've got some jobs that are using Flex for its granularity. It's, it's um, sort of low level granular restores, which I'm going to show you. And then I've also got the free express jobs for Exchange, OneDrive and SharePoint. Should the event happen, I need to do a big, large bulk restore in the event of a disaster or, or ransomware attack. So we can still split those out. Uh, one, two, three for mail, OneDrive, SharePoint teams. And then I've got um, E for Express, one, two, three, mailbox, OneDrive and SharePoint. And as mentioned, that's the, the Express ones are using that Microsoft uh, backup storage, MBS, for the fastest possible restores. Uh, similar to the storage-based snapshots that um, you, you, you may know about. So if I just wanted to set up a new policy, let's say um, I, at the moment I've got selected items set up for mail, uh, select, set up for OneDrive and SharePoint. Let's say I've got a VIP group. I now want to set that up for. So if I go to new backup policy, I get the choice straight away of whether it's um, an express policy using Microsoft backup storage or a flex policy, which is the, the standard more granular. And that's what I want to go for. I'm going to call it VIP users just for the, for the, um, for this example. And then I've only got two repositories set up and we would normally capture this at the point of onboarding. And at the point of onboarding, we would have a session and you'd say, 
okay, we, we've potentially got VIPs who we want to have retention for, um, for five years and in UK West, you might say normal users are going to be one year and then we're going to have some data that we only want to keep for 90 days and then we could go off, that would be set up by Veeam and then when you get to this stage, you would have those. Now, as you can see, I've got a um, UK South, a London-based one-year retention repository and I've got my 90-day um, UK West, which is in Cardiff. So I'm just going to go ahead and select the one year because this is a VIPs and I want the longer retention. Hit next. And then this is where we have the choice of entire organization, um, which we can exclude specifics, or we can just back up the following items. We can do this based on user, SharePoint site teams, part log, or I, I'm just going to go ahead and use groups for now. So we can see now that my uh, groups have appeared. And what that's doing is it uses a cache within Veeam Data Cloud. Should we want to uh, have a new group that hasn't been synced in the last hour or so, we could literally hit search M365 directly, and that will bring up the anything that's been updated very recently. So let's just click that now. That will query um, 365 direct for, to the tenancy. And then I actually want to just select my managers for my VIP group. And managers, I'm going to say, uh, I know I haven't got any archive mailboxes, so don't need that, but OneDrive, site and uh, mailbox we're going to go for on this job. We could then exclude a specific user if we wanted to, but we, we I don't need to for this example. And then we can tell it to start the backup straight away. Or uh, we can set how often we want this to run, every 24 hours, 8 or 4 as a sort of defaults. Again, at that onboarding stage, if you uh, said that you had a job that you wanted to run every six hours, we could go ahead and get that set up and then you'd have the choice to choose every six. I want to go every eight. These are deemed as um, VIP users. You get the warning there because um, you don't want to necessarily back up, say, everything every 15 minutes because there are limits within Microsoft around amount of API calls. Um, and you will, if you back up too frequently, you may struggle and hit those those API limits. So there we go. I've now got my VIP user job set up. And then finally, we are down to uh, the restore options, if you like. So I want to go ahead to Outlook. And if I click on my own James Blower and drop that down because I want to show you Flex first of all where we're going to get a little bit granular we're going to just restore one or two specific items within my mailbox okay so if I go into my inbox now and we can see I've um, sent myself this Veeam uh, MBS email and MBS important. And if I just bring up my Outlook, uh, we can see these here. Email one, this is important, and email two. I'm going to go ahead and uh, delete these and sort of let's say they've gone unrecoverable. Perhaps they'd, they'd be on my uh, recycle bin, or even if I've done a shift delete. So I'm going to select those two. And coincidentally, because, um, and we'll look at roles in a second, but because I am a uh, sort of level three admin at the highest. I can even look at this um, important email, click the link, and what that's going to do is allow the preview. Now, this is this can be controlled in our uh, role-based access control, but at the highest level of permissions, we can even preview the email to make sure it's the correct one. So, yeah, this is the important email. I'll select the two emails I want and restore selected items. And again, because this is Flex, uh, which is the on the Veeam side, not the Microsoft backup side, we've got the most flexible uh, granular recovery options. So I can go original location. Do I want uh, only change items? Do I want to mark the emails back as unread or not at the point of restore? I could go other user's mailbox and we could choose a different account in our tenant uh, so that the user has been deleted or we need it to restore to somewhere else. We could do a local computer download or a downloading background. If you're doing a lot of files, you probably don't want to sit there with, with the spinning. So you'd probably do a download in the background there. But for now, I'm just going to go original location. I will leave it as markers on red so we can see that fly in there and hit restore.
that job's now queued we can see it in the notifications there just running and as we can see in my outlook there we go they're both back and marked as unread so that is a uh, flex outlook uh, email job mailbox job deleted some emails and then recovered them what i want to show you next is the power of the express and premium options so uh, what we've done is just small files and it was it was obviously very quick for the purpose of the demo but what if we need to do a bulk restore we need to bring back the whole of someone's onedrive for example so let's go ahead and have a look at that so if i go to my onedrive This time, rather than drilling in, I'm just, I'm going to click on the whole of um, James Blower now, just for the purpose of having a little browse through. If I hit on uh, MBS, for example, we can see here there's there's receipts, there's a there's a, a JPEG and logo, and if we if we just have a look, for example, we might see um, I've got some films, I've got Die Hard Two in there, uh, we've got some drivers, very important um, Windows Dell Doc driver. So let's just have a little look at what that looks like on my actual um, drive here. So I've got MBS, exactly like we're looking at it on, on there. We can see I've got films, I've got my drivers. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna act, cause an accidental deletion, if you like, balls, drivers, um, all these files down here are now gone. My films, my drivers gone too. You know that, that that that's now there could have been hundreds of films in there it could have been a massive onedrive so we need to do a, a full bulk restore let's just say all that's encrypted in the event of ransomware so i'm not i'm not gonna i'm not gonna get granular i'm gonna go up to james blower's um whole onedrive and i go restore selected onedrive and now we can start to leverage the power of the microsoft backup storage the snapshots and the speed so if we go uh, express full restore, use fast restore points. We see it's going to be the full OneDrive because this is a bulk restore tool. It's all about the performance. We're not going to get down into the into the flex restore options. We're going to go ahead and do that express full restore. So now if we hit notifications again, we can see that the Express full restore is running and I can hit that blue link to the activity log and we can see our previous restores in the activity log and we can see our Express restore is now running. See the time it started. So that bulk restore is now completed much quicker than if I'd have had to uh, go into Flex and, and, and leverage the APIs to pull down the data. Because the difference between uh, an express job and a flex job is with flex we're relying upon um, either exchange web services to pull down from uh, mail for onedrive sharepoint teams the, the the graph api with our express and premium uh, we're, we're actually pulling down the, from that microsoft backup storage technology to give that bulk restore uh, performance where we'd be looking at days potentially we're now talking about hours, you know, same day recovery. Um, so I've now restored that. If I just go back to my um, MBS share, I'll zoom in a little bit. We can see that my, um, if I go to my films, for example, we can now see I'm good for Christmas. I can go ahead and watch, uh, you know, watch my favorite Christmas film and watch Die Hard. So that's all restored from my accidental deletion. And that is how to leverage the power of the exp Express feature for a bulk restore of an entire OneDrive and, and pull everything back. And we can see the performance there. That was back in, in sort of minutes, whereas uh, with Flex, I know that's exact test that can take hours. Uh, I'm just on my small uh, example, let alone, you know, if we were to do hundreds of users with masses of data, with, you know, I'm talking gigabytes, but if we're on terabytes, petabytes, you can see how that scales and how much quicker that would be for an actual disaster or, or ransomware recovery. And just to finish up, 
I will uh, go down below the restore. We've seen notifications. I'll just quickly jump into settings. And as discussed, I've got this one role set up with, with all of the um, sort of all of the power, if you like, uh, sort of a level three administrator. So as I mentioned for storing Outlook, I've got the ability to preview emails. We could go ahead and set up a new role, take that away and make it more of a level one access where you can't preview. Maybe you can't download to local. You can only restore to the original mailbox. Uh, we've got this express restore. The ability to do that bulk restore is probably considered a higher risk because you could you could you are instigating almost a DR. So we can limit that to just our level three users. And, and as mentioned, we get very granular with our RBAC. Now, if I just go to system, this is where the Microsoft backup storage, we can see, yes, it's it's enabled, yes, it's active. And that's the key to our express um, bulk restore performance. Okay, thank you for watching the demo. Please like, follow or subscribe so you don't miss any future content. Please join us for our next episode. But for now, thank you and goodbye.